Good afternoon, participants, families, and friends. My name is Michael Pete, and this PowerPoint presentation has been created by myself and a few of my colleagues, Mary Machana, Alyssa Miller, Savannah Van Coyley, and Garrett Joseph. Today we will give you an overview, or today I will give you an overview of type 2 diabetes prevention. But first, I want to give you a little description about myself. I am like no other instructor that you've ever had before, being that I am visually impaired and that I do use assistive technology to help me with my daily tasks, such as text messages and also by giving this presentation. I will give you a brief demonstration of what I use on my laptop. Can you please hit a button on the laptop? Thank you. Thank you. So see, as you can see there that I do use assistive technology. My screen reader does read me the content that is on the laptop. Um, with this program, there will be some different materials available to all participants. There will be a printout of the PowerPoint for people who want to follow along who have normal sight. There will also be large print printouts for people who have low vision, and then there will also be visual aid magnifiers for people who want to use a regular print PowerPoint, but they just need a visual aid to help them see the content within the PowerPoint. And also, we will have Braille printouts of the PowerPoint, and then also participants are welcome to bring their laptop if they want to follow along that way either using the JAWS screen reader, or if they have a MacBook, they can use the voiceover application that's already built in. So just to give you an overview of how this program will work, um, as you can see, there are clusters of desks of four to five participants in each group. And with each in, within each cluster of desks, there will be a bell, and this bell will be used by the participants to notify me if something is unclear to them, if something needs to be retaught, or if I just need to answer any questions that you might have. This will help me to know when to slow down and when I need to answer any questions that you may have. And so this will help me to adjust my teaching to better serve you. So just to give you an overview of how, or to give you an overview of what content will be involved in this program, you will learn about what type, what type two diabetes is. There are different types of diabetes. There is type one diabetes, type two diabetes, and gestational diabetes. Type one diabetes is an autoimmune deficiency, which we will not cover in great depth in this program. Type two diabetes is the body's inability to use insulin to use insulin efficiently and gestational diabetes is also diabetes is when the insulin cannot be used properly when a mother is in her gestational period some other things that we'll go over throughout this program are the risks that may be associated with type 2 diabetes some of the health risks that may <clears throat> that may arise from not properly taking care of your type 2 diabetes and some of the things that you can prevent with two main modifiable risk factors. Some of the health risks are blindness, neuropathy, kidney failure, amputation, in addition to that as I talked about two main modifiable risk factors. These two, mon these two main modifiable risk factors are incorporating a healthy diet into your lifestyle and also a moderate 
amount of physical activity into your lifestyle. So with this program, we will teach you how to go find at your local grocery store the healthy foods that you do need to help prevent or maintain your type 2 diabetes properly. We will teach you how to read nutritional labels. We will teach you what vocabulary words to look for on a nutritional label. And then also, we will have some demonstrations where we can teach you how to prepare the food and also how to create a dietary plan for type 2 diabetes. On to the next point of what physical activities that you can do within your home. There are some activities, exercises that you can do within the home, within the comfort of your home to help prevent and maintain type 2 diabetes. It is recommended by the ADA that five days out of the week that you have at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. Also, with the, within this program, we will talk about different coping resources that are available to you. I know that type 2 diabetes is something that is something that a lot of people have struggled with, not even for themselves, but it can also affect family members and friends. So we want to give you the tools to where you yourself and your friends and family members can fight type 2 diabetes as a whole. We will also give you some information on how to locate local markets within your neighborhood and how to access them efficiently. Also within this program, there will be different activities during the lectures where group discussions will be administered. Uh, there will be printouts of different, different worksheets and those will all be made accessible to all of our participants. Also, we will give you some more information on, on how type 2 diabetes <laughs> affects a certain population within the United States. Type 2 diabetes is more susceptible, more susceptible for minority groups. And for me as being Native American, it is something that affects my Indian community very well. I do have family members who have type, type 2 diabetes and this is a passion of mine and this is something that I want to get out and tell people about and help them to maintain their type 2 diabetes in a healthy manner. Type 2 diabetes can be something that comes about from poor eating habits and inadequate exercise. Within the state of Arizona, type 2 diabetes affects a range of people within different age groups, but the most common age group is older adults ranging from 30 to 45 years old. But this is not, but this is not, uh, but this is not biased towards other age groups. Hopefully I have helped you with grasping what will be expected and what will be the content of this program. I hope to see you back in our next lecture and do please don't hesitate to ask me any questions via email or text message and those will be available to you at the end of the program. Thank you.